Today I'm partnering with Rockwool to tackle a project that homeowners ask me about all the time, how to finish an unfinished garage. So I'm going to pick up where the builder has left off and I'm going to turn a garage into a fully functional finished space. So we have got this garage cleaned out, ready to go. I've got backup here as well so that we can get this thing done as quickly as possible. And the good news is this garage is already framed. It's 16 inch on center wood studs. So we've got the Rockwool Comfort Bat for 16 inch on center wood studs, which means it's going to fit perfectly, compression fit perfectly between the joists. It's going to be Super easy to put this in. I like it because it's a one-step process. It's super DIY, just like that. A pair of gloves and some goggles, a little bit of elbow grease, and we're already insulating. And Rockwell's the perfect product because we don't have a controlled environment in here. There's no HVAC system. So garage is a little bit different than it would be inside your house. You wanna take extra precaution to make sure that the products that you're using are gonna be able to withstand the extra heat, the extra cold, the extra moisture. What's great about the rock wool is that it's vapor permeable. It has high drying potential, so we don't have to worry about moisture the same way you would with a lot of other products. It's also made of non-organic material, so even if there is moisture in there, it dries out, you don't get mold, you don't get mildew. So you stay warm and you have peace of mind. But the other nice thing is that it offers passive fire protection. Typically a garage is attached to a home or there could be a living space above, same like it is here. And to be able to reduce the spread of fire, I mean, this stuff can resist heat over 1100 degrees Celsius. That's above 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a big deal. So as we move along, we're using the same product, the Rockwell Comfort Bat. It does have the R14, that's its resistance to heat transfer. Um, a lot of heat is lost through the ceiling. So you definitely don't want to forget to do this. So with the walls insulated with our rock wool and the vapor barrier in place, we're starting to finish the perimeter walls. Now some of it's going to be a slat system, which is great. We're using Pro Slat here. Gives us the freedom to move hooks around on the wall. The bottom two feet and the top two feet, I'm splitting a sheet of drywall. It's not really usable space, especially if you're parking a car in here. But with this easy to install system, we're gonna be able to maximize our storage potential in here, have a bit of a workshop, and it's gonna look great. Now, the next stage of finishing this space, since I have my slat wall up, I got my insulation in, I've got my vapor barrier on, I've got some drywall. I really want to make sure the drywall has a finished look. I'm going to give it a great coat of paint. And then on the floor, I've got a gladiator tile system. Bit of a two-tone idea so I can frame out maybe where a car would park, have it nice and clean and durable on top of here. It's just going to tie everything in. It'll be completely finished. It's going to look amazing. If you're looking for more usable space in your home, the garage is a great place to start. And if you insulate it with Rockwell Comfort Bat and finish it properly, not only is it gonna look great, not only is it gonna feel great, but it's gonna protect all the things you put in it.